today in this video we will discuss about correspondence types the configuration related to correspondence types and the certification questions from correspondence types so first we understand what are the uses of correspondence types the correspondence functionality in sap s4 hana provides standard ways of communicating various information with suppliers and customers in our previous video we discussed about dunning so once the dunning letters dunning letters is also one kind of correspondence so we need to send the letters to the customers so that is one of the correspondence type so in the same way you can use correspondence ad hoc to send information or you can set up scheduled periodic jobs to provide standardized communication so correspondence types is basically used for communicating with suppliers and customers so the main basic customizing object for correspondence is correspondence type the correspondence type defines what is communicated to your business partners the systems comes with many pre configured correspondence types such as payment notice account statement open items list and so on now we check the required configuration for correspondence type if we see the screenshot we can see the correspondence types is a five digit code and we have to enter the description and also we, you can see the different options to pro, uh, to process the correspondence type so the different options are like if we want to run on the to run the correspondence based on the account we will check account required and if it is to a particular document or if it depends on the document we can select it as document necessary in usual text so if we want to send the correspondence through different languages even we can select the language and if we want to use this correspondence across company codes we can select this option and also we can define the dates to which we need to run the correspondence types and also the main point is this the correspondence types created are valid across clients so we can use this correspondence as client independent so in addition to the previous configuration step we also need to update the print program and the variant which we are going to use against that correspondence type so for each correspondence type you define the print program and variant so the system comes with default assignments and standard forms for each delivered payment method so we all know that sap has provided us many sap delivered payment methods for each and every payment method sap has already provided a standard program and variant if required we can use those programs and variants you can select different combinations of programs and variants per company code or use the same for all so it is again purely based on the client's requirement whether we need to use the the print program which provided by the sap or if they need their own uh, forms which they need to send to the customers or suppliers suppliers they can even create those forms and assign it to the print program 
so each variant is assigned a form forms are customizable and it is a job performed by technical consultants many fields in the business master are used to create correspondence such as address the tax and bank details so this all will be used when creating the correspondence and also the account accounting details payment definitions correspondence and withholding tax details are used per company code so the thing which i explained like address tax and bank details these are maintained at general uh, data level or like client level so it will be si similar for all the correspondence in spite of the company code but if we are using the data related to a particular company code it might differ from company code to company code even though the supplier uh, data is um, similar at client level so all these details correct um, payment definitions accounting details or all these withholding tax details are picked from company code and we can assign a default correspondence type to the tolerance group so maintaining the tolerance group for a business partner makes the correspondence type the default type for the partner so if we assign the tolerance group in a correspondence type to the tolerance group and the tolerance group is assigned to the business partner it is by default the correspondence type is activated to the business partner so this is the default correspondence type where we assign it in tolerance groups and by default it is automatically assigned to the business partner and also one more place we assign the correspondent correspondence type is in the payment difference reason codes okay whenever we receive payments or whenever we make payments sometimes it happens that the payment will not be received fully only we receive the partial payment or sometimes we receive the over payment so in order to handle this kind of scenarios we use the reason codes for that particular payment difference so whenever we have payment differences in line items we assign reason codes so reason codes also can be assigned to default correspondence types if they aren't you can define the correspondence type manually when entering a partial payment with a residual item for example you assign a reason code to the residual item the residual item will be associated with a correspondence type through the reason code and you can request and print the relative correspondence so the other option is when we uh, otherwise if we have an invoice with multiple lines and with multiple reason codes the system will be confused of using which code correspondence so in this uh case we can the system will use the default correspondence type set for the business partner and ignore the line item definitions okay so for the business partner how it is triggered 
we already have seen that it is assigned a tolerance group and the tolerance group is assigned to the business partner so if there are multiple lines in the invoice and multiple lines with reason codes system might get confused in that scenario it will use the correspondence type which is assigned indirectly to the business pa business partner master data through tolerance group so we use that correspondence type so there are two ways it triggers the correspondence types one way is through business partner so and again in business partner it is not directly assigned it is di assigned through tolerance group and second way is if the line item have a single reason code then it it will trigger based on the reason code if it has multiple lines with multiple reason codes then again it will trigger the correspondence based on the business partner so once it trigger the correspondence the correspondence need to gets get printed right so if we or otherwise if we want to trigger the correspondence manually then we can use the transaction code samyap.27 i guess so we can trigger we can give the input data like company code correspondence type and for which customer we need to run the correspondence and the dates between which dates we need to run the correspondence if we have a particular document number to trigger the correspondence to that particular document number even uh, we can in the configuration step we can check box that document required option so we can even input the required document and get the correspondence so we can print correspondence in fury we can use create correspondence app so we will select company code and the correspondence type depending on the correspondence type we need to select whether it is a customer or vendor account and the document number and additional date definitions after maintaining the required data you can choose a print preview to validate the data before we trigger for the print out and again there are default settings in the system in the company code level or normally even they do g config settings to trigger whether it is an email or we need to um, print it and or fax it or we can send via through email or via through normal mail through postal so that will be de uh, that will be depends on the client requirements now we move on to certification questions the first question is you can assign correspondence types directly to a payment difference reason code yes we have seen that it is true in the definition of payment different reason codes you can assign the specific correspondence type correspondence for the difference second question is a document has several line items with different reason codes entered for the automatic payment which correspondence type does the system choose so we already discussed that if there is multiple line items with multiple reason codes definitely it will trigger the correspondence type which is assigned in the business master data which it indirectly gets from tolerance group 
which two reports should you use to create correspondence to and from customers and vendors to enable you to verify the balance of receivables and payables so it is SAPF 130D is for customers and K is for vendors which parameters can you specify when you create a new correspondence type we have seen that we will give document number required account required and number of the date fields required we didn't we never nowhere seen company code or reason code at which level do you assign the print program to the correspondence type it is at company code level okay these are the few certification related questions on correspondence types i will check once again if there if there are any more questions i will add to this video if you know any correspondence type related questions please update in the comment section below I hope this video will be helpful and thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next video.